Recently, I made a video on a method to fix the warp bed. Some commenters asked if it had any effect on bed eating. Let's find out! I wanted to, to test what impact my Onycomb leveling sheet has on bed eating performance. And I needed a tool to test that and to see how the heat is distributed along the print surface. I got my hands on this FLIR camera attachment for the iPhone. It is called FLIR ONE PRO. This video is not meant to be a review of the camera, which is indeed pretty cool. And I'm not going to dive into infrared thermal measurement, which is a huge chapter by itself. It is enough to know that every object emits infrared light and that the energy level is proportional to the object's temperature. It is much more complicated than this, but we just need a heat map of the bed, and this will do. I will make a baseline with just the aluminium base plate, and I will compare it with the steel sheet build surface. I really don't know what result I will get, so let's do it! Now this is the setup of the experiment. On the left you see the naked bed, on the right you see my build surface. And it's of course two subsequent shots. And now we go into the infrared, you see a spot in the middle, uh, not very easy to read on the left hand side, but anyway, that's uh, a spot uh, marking the temperature. And uh, I sped up the movie just uh, to uh, avoid uh, boredom. So you see in like one and a half minutes, the bed on the left goes up to 60 degrees C, while the one on the right still a bit lagging behind. So you will see it will reach the temperature of 53 degrees in roughly three minutes or three minutes and a half and then it will stabilize at that temperature which is a bit of a news so it seems that uh, that the dissipation or the insulation of the air inside the onycomb is actually uh, putting an offset into the uh, heating of the bed so you can see it stabilizes at 53 degrees. So I decided to crank it up a bit. So I have uh, raised the set point to 70 degrees and you will see it climbs up to 60 pretty quickly. So overall I would say that the heating itself is not impaired. It's more that it's slowed down and there is an offset that you have to take into account. You can also see that by moving around the circle, the difference in temperature is in between 4, 5 or 6 degrees, um, which is pretty okay. I have three main takeaways uh, for this experiment. First, the heating time increases from 1.5 minutes to 3.5. It is a significant increase, but it's okay for me. I have my doubts that glass will do any better anyway. Second, the temperature distribution is pretty even, 3-4 degrees difference is okay as far as I'm concerned. Third, there is an offset between the thermistor reading and the actual, um, the actual surface temperature. It could be due to the uncertainty in the IR measure, but it is more likely due to the insulation effect of the Onycomb. I will take it at the face value and introduce a 10 degrees offset going forward. So, what is my final conclusion? Well. Most people use glass to solve the bed warp problem. I suppose that the glass is introducing an offset as well. The offset will depend mainly on the glass thickness. It will change K by K, so I cannot give an advice on that. But definitely it is something to think about. I had bad experiences with adhesion using glass, while it works like a charm with a PE sheet and steel bed. This is why I chose a flexible surface instead. Do I recommend to use this system instead of glass? Well, it depends. If you value more the convenience, you have your magic potion for adhesion and glass, go ahead with that. A home store mirror or general purpose glass will do. No need for fancy and pricey 3D printing supplies. If you have had your fair share of problems with glass, or you want the zero cost alternative, go with the Onycomb. You can use the standard build surface that comes with the Ender 3, but this will most probably increase the temperature offset a bit. One final, one final remark, if you print a lot of PETG, beware. Both glass and PE stick all too well with it and could tear it off bit of glass or precious PE. Trust me, I learned it the hard way. 
Every time I have to print P, I just flip the sheet upside down and print on the steel. Finally, if you have not made your new hero resolution yet, it is time to resolve yourself to subscribe to the channel. It is free and like that gym fee you will not use anyway. And if you want to stay updated, touch the small bell next to the button to receive notifications of the new content. This is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time.